Hi guys, welcome to YSCO. Wait. Hi guys, welcome to YS Kong Driving. Yes, this is the Kia Carnival. Okay, we already done the Kia Carnival walk around before, but this one is slightly different because this is the one that is locally assembled. There are three variants available. One is 232,000. The next one is 247. And this is the top of the range. Seven seater, very luxurious at 260,000 ringgit. Okay, the drivetrain is the same. It remains as the 2.2 litre diesel turbo with 199 horsepower and 440 newton meters of torque. Drive is to the front wheels through a 8-speed automatic gearbox and so it remains pretty much the same as the previous CBU model. Now, just for your information, for a limited time, the CBU 11 seater will be sold alongside this CKD version but eventually the 11 seater will also become a part of the assembly uh, lineup here so in the end you will have a 7 seater which is very luxurious then you have two variants of the 8 seater and all three are CKD plus Eventually, also, there will be an 11-seater CKD. Now, the 11-seater right now in CBU form is a little bit on the luxurious side. Not as luxurious as this, of course, but eventually, it will become more of a people carrier uh, for those companies that need them for tour vehicles or for companies that need to carry people. That means the people mover. But the ones that are more interesting now would be the luxurious version such as this one okay let's take a look at the features of the vehicle and see what's so different okay here are the things that are the same uh, i think the front grille remains the same if i'm not mistaken and we have 18 inches rims in the front with uh, 18 inch wheels but these are goodyear tires i suppose they are made in malaysia and uh, these are SUV tyres, you get a, looks like a two-pot front caliper with a ventilated disc brakes in the front. And the suspension is McPherson struts, so it's much the same as the previous one uh, that was CBU, but I think the local content would be the rims and the tyres, because for CKD, they need to try to achieve about 40% cost structure in local content. At the back, you get a solid disc with a smaller single pot floating caliper. And the rear suspension is, yes it is, it's a multi-link arrangement. So visually, the Kia Carnival 7-seater looks the same as the previous uh, CBU model. And it really looks quite a handsome vehicle. Okay, so the main differences are on the inside. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so for the seven-seater, you get this nice two-tone interior. This is leather. And what I understand is these leather seats are made locally as part of the local content. And it looks pretty nice to me, as good as the CBU unit. And you get electrical controls. And over here, we look at the dashboard and the steering wheel. You see, yes, pedal shifters. So that's good. And something else I want to show you before we continue. And these are not available in the CBU, I think. And these are the sunroofs. So why do I say sunroof? Because there are two. This is for the front passenger and it opens up. And let's have a look at the rear one. Yes, electrical doors that open by themselves. And there's another sunroof here for the rear passengers. So that's one up already on the vehicle. So taking a look again from the front, you see a very nice dashboard with two screens here. The instrument panel is a digital unit. 
and then the infotainment screen is over there then you have a two-tone dashboard that goes around and there's some very nice pattern over there near the door and down there you see the speakers and piano black all over so very very good placement of stuff to give this car a very luxurious look okay so before we go to the back let's get into the car close the door and we're going to be greeted by the car okay so this is the instrument panel and something tells me the rear door is open but never mind and let's close the door yep there's a button here that allows me to close the door you must press and hold yes and the door is closed so we close our door and then you can see the meter in full this is the ref counter red line is at 4500 rpm and this one is the speedometer don't worry about this because the car has been idling sitting here for a very long while and we have not done any moving then over here is your infotainment system and this is your radio yep and you can have all the choices here let's go out of here you also have your phone projection you can project your phone so this is apple carplay uh, and uh, android friendly and then you have your compass and also you have you can project your ways map onto here all right so elsewhere you have this very nice uh, aluminium or hammered aluminium I can call, I'll call that yeah it's textured aluminium finish the dash here is soft touch and it's hard touch here and up here you have a very nice dashboard that looks like you shouldn't put any tissue paper on it <laughs> okay so down here you have your aircon controls and there is another aircon controller at the back and this one is two zone and this is this one can also control the rear so you can control your temperature this side and also this side and you can sync front and back yeah so you when once you press sync all the temperatures remain the same yeah so when you do one it changes accordingly yeah so you see once it's synced this is the sync button yeah if you unsync it then you can do your own uh, temperature changes and if you sync it then all the temperatures remain the same including the rear rear climate yes you can also turn the rear it allows you to regulate where you want the air and this is for the rear then down here you have usb ports and then you have your gear lever gear lever is quite unique you have r n and d and you turn this lever to whichever position you want so there's an arrow yeah so we are now and p park is press the button then you have your electronic handbrake and drive mode and i'm going to press the drive mode okay so drive mode you have let's see you have normal then you have eco then you have sport and you have smart so smart is kind of like adaptive yeah okay so this we are back on normal mode and let's go to eco to save a bit of fuel now this car comes complete with all the ada systems and that includes a blind spot monitor with a difference because this is now blind spot collision avoidance if it senses a car that's on your side or beside you in your blind spot and you try to turn it will try to steer you back and also uh, apply brake if necessary so this is the blind spot collision avoidance system which is one step higher than just a normal blind spot so it also has adaptive cruise control it has lane keep uh, lane departure warning and all the full ADA systems and that is in this full spec vehicle 
Then moving on, we have uh, ventilated seats for the front. That's for the passenger and this is for the driver. And then you have here a camera. Ah, okay, I press the button and you see the camera. This is the 360 view camera, view from the top, view at the back. And these are the parking sensors. Okay, let's look at the view change. That's the view. Ah, the view change is here. This is for the back. This is from the top. This is from the sides. Uh, and this adjusts the brightness and the settings. Okay, so that is the camera view for you. So let's move to the second row. And here we are looking at the second row. And these are seats that are put on a rail here. So there is some sliding forward and backward. As you can see, it's not slid fully forward. Because once it's forward, then it can actually get very close. So it depends on how you want the seats to be done. So the second row has got captain seats. And you have this uh, armrest. And also a very nice headrest. Also two-tone leather. And the seat belts are integrated into the seat, so everything is self-contained and very, very neat. And a uh, quick look at the third row. To get into the back, you have to slide the seat forward and you have to recline the seat a bit, I think, to get to the back. Okay, that's the seat reclined and you can get into the back. Here you have two seats so at the back it's two seaters in the middle is another two and then you have a total of seven is two two three this is for the third row seating and there is plenty of leg room okay let's adjust the seat straight yeah so this is adjusted a little bit to the front but this one is okay so the actual space will be about that much and there's still at least five inches of leg room for me and, I, and I'm an average sized adult. So at the back you can actually sit two people very comfortably and you can put in a smaller size one as the third passenger. So this will sit seven people very very comfortably. Besides you also have your own USB charging port and your cup holders. So this is a really luxurious vehicle. Plus, you get your own map reading light and uh, aircon louver, aeroplane type up here. Very nice. Okay, elsewhere you have the push button controls for the door. So you don't have to reach into the back. And you can also use the door handle to open. Very simple, just pull and it will open. But once it gets to the back, it's a bit awkward. So you have this button here to press and it will close. Yeah, and finally you have also two cup holders here and a power socket for you. For the middle row, you get your USB ports on each of the seats on the left. And this is the USB port on the right. And you also get a bit of Tauke feature here. You can slide the front passenger seat forward to give yourself more room. This is the Tauke feature because the front passenger cannot do anything about it okay here i am sitting in the second row i've slid the seat slightly back there's still plenty of room i slid it to the same level as this yeah so there's still plenty of room at the back and this is how the tauke sits now this seat is quite unique you can slide it first of all you can slide it in and out okay this one makes you a bit antisocial, but you can get closer to the window. Yes, there's a sunshade here. Okay, so we'll just put the sunshade down. And here you can go closer to the window and hang out with your tongue if you want. <laughs> but uh, it also has this to allow you to slide the seat closer. And the reason why they have this sliding is, first of all, you can be closer to the person you're sitting next to. But at the same time, there is also the reclining function of this seat. This one will recline all the way down. Yes. And, oh, oh, really nice. 
and this part also comes up but you have to go back a bit so that's why you need to have this seat come inside because this part of the seat will foul the what you call the drink holder at the back so you can look up the sunroof and enjoy the scenery and there's one more part this is the front cushion here and you can have it out here we go Woo, look at that <laughs> yep so you slide it further back and you can actually relax on the back seat this is like a massage chair man it's so nice yeah so this is like a traveling business class in the aeroplane and you can just relax and enjoy yourself oh nice yep this is the extra money that you're paying for 260,000 for all these extra goodies in the car okay let's put it back into standard yeah i think there's a one button thing everything goes back into normal yeah and you have to slide it forward mechanically and you can push it to the side yep so this is how you enjoy the car okay this is your aircon controller for your temperature and also your fan speed so it's up to you how you want the aircon and it's all controlled by this passenger here you have your grab handles you have your own aircon louver your own map lights and another aircon over there not to mention your sunroof here which can be open so guys in the final analysis the kia carnival is actually a very very versatile vehicle and who is it suitable for well you'll be a family because you can sit anything from four to seven people and there's also an eight seater option and also, if you need to move people, this is the vehicle for you. And besides, there is going to be an 11-seater locally assembled model. And that is built mainly for moving people. So that should come at a very, very attractive price too when it's available. So stay tuned. And of course, should you need to buy any of these Kia vehicles, do get in touch with us at 016-335-0609 or go to shop.yscongdriving.com Thanks for watching our video. Until we meet again, bye-bye.